How is it going, everybody? Welcome back to the live stream. I hope you guys are all doing amazing today. Welcome in. How is it going? <laughs> I hope you guys are, uh, are are having a good day so far. I know it's kind of uh, a little later in the day today for me. Uh, I normally start around 10, so I'm a little about two hours late, but I do have good reason for it. <laughs> Ghost 999 Goose? just gave out five subs. No! Aceboy <laughs> underscore underscore underscore. Thank you for the five subs, dude. With a tier one sub for oh, two months. Oh, shoot. I forgot. You or know what? I'm going to have to do something real quick. Just resubscribed with a tier one sub for two months. <laughs> We're going to have to load this game Doc back up. Oh, geez. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Goose, for the amazing, uh, the amazing support. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, we have to go in here. Mods. Add mod. I had to do some finagling on this world. Let's see. Mini at miniatures did not show up. Yeah, I had to do some finagling to get this to work. I'm gonna talk about it here in a second. Okay, I'll just download. Directly. Oh, that's because I'm spelling it wrong. There we go. Let's get that downloaded. Um, that kind of sucks too, because we actually have to config the mod. What is this? Oh, it's just a look at it. Anyways, while we're doing this, I can go ahead and talk about some stuff. Um, so, <laughs> while this is loading back up, I had to download the FTB launcher through Curse, install it via Curse, the, the latest update, and then transfer the files into this to get it to work. Because even if I downloaded a new instance on this, on the GD launcher, it was not downloading and pulling all of the mods that was needed for the update. So, uh, so I had to go through that to get it onto here because I use, I run everything through here. This makes more sense for me. Man. Um, but yeah, this is going to mean the mini-me's are going to be broken until I, I fix the config. We're, we'll do that on camera too. Might as well. Anyways, welcome in. It doesn't take any, it hardly takes any time to load this, believe it or not. It's like 200 something mods or 40 something mods, I think it said. And uh, still, pretty loads pretty fast. These packs are loading pretty fast now. It's awesome. Uh, block down. How's it going? Chosen. Glad I can finally make it to the stream. Welcome to stream. Normally it flows a little smoother than this. I just had to do a lot. I had to delete the mods folder, which delete deleted all the stuff, and I forgot about the minis mod. The one thing that's my favorite on here. I'll be sure to get those subs back in though. What kind of pop? It's purple flavored. It's it's just grape crush. So I'm out of creamer. So I'm out. I. I would make a cup of coffee, but I don't want to drink it just dead black. So I'm not going to. So now that it's loaded up, we can open that folder, go into the mod config mini me's. There's a lot of mini, like a lot of stuff that goes on in the miniatures mod. So we might, I mean, we can check some stuff out and see, see what this is all about. Um, so make it easier for you guys to see. So right here, uh, let's see, is it immune? Yes. If I turn this off, they can die to random stuff. Do we want that? They can die to other things like fall damage. I don't know if I want that. I, I kind of like being the only one that can kill them. Saves them from random death. Uh, so where's it at? Pick up goal. We'll try to pick up players. False. I don't want them picking me up by default. Uh, whether or not miniatures will break blocks with the default tag. Miniatures break blocks. I want to set that false. I don't want them breaking blocks. Even though they won't unless they have the tag, I don't think. How much damage they can do. Whether or not they're hostile. Now, this is a different thing. Um, 
Well, you could set them up to be hostile, but then I'd have to kill them. I don't know. I don't know if I want to kill them. I like them hanging around. These mobs scare you. Is this HTML? No, this is not HTML. This is TOML. T-O-M-L. Which is like a Java properties file. All right. I think that should be good. We can save that. And we are good to go. Load it back up. These mods scare you. I'm I'm looking for some stuff to do some pets with. Like I we have the pets available to be like used. Um but since I removed that mod, I have them set now to vanilla mobs because there's not a whole lot. Um Do another thing. I hate doing this, but ah, there we go. This has got to go. I feel like that's the application, the killer program for my internet. I feel like that's been causing a lot of the dropout issues. Um, Super Hobbit Nibs, you think of the Twitch Prime sub? Welcome to the crew. Welcome, welcome. I was just getting ready to watch your Sky Factory 1 series and I saw you were online streaming. Perfect timing. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, you were playing this mod pack, but running into that you can't get the Chaos Shard. Did you get it as well? I'm not at the point Super of getting Robbie the knobs. Chaos Shard. Just subscribed with Twitch Prime. All right. Let's slow back in. Hopefully... Everything will work the way it's supposed to. I hope. That's the hope. But anyways, thank you guys for being patient. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. How do you get the game to be full screen? You need a tab, you get full screen. I use an application called uh, Borderless Gaming. And borderless gaming allows me to full screen borderless Minecraft. It's a very handy thing. I think you can get it for free. Uh, I think they have a, a version available on their GitHub. Um, I bought mine through Steam after using their one on GitHub for a long time. I bought mine through Steam and I've been using it through Steam. It's just easy that way. It auto updates and everything. So super convenient. That was not mine. I don't want it to spark. All right, so now I should be able to rerun these things. Aceboy underscore 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 just resubscribed with a tier one sub for two months. Orinos 1988 just resubscribed with a tier one sub for two months. Dog underscore there we go. underscore just subscribed with a tier one sub. Bowl Childs just resubscribed with a tier one sub for two months. Scoogum. Just resubscribed with a tier one sub for two months. Spanyo, just subscribed with a tier one sub. Super Obit Nubs, just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Yeah, there is a client side mod. There is a mod that you can use at a Windows Borderless. Yeah. Here in the TTSA, Super Obit News, the news gave you shivers. Oh, goodness. But this should work now. We should be all CCI'd up, ready to go, working, functioning. Everything's good, right? I think everything's good. I hope. <laughs> I hope it didn't break too much by doing this. But let's check this out. Um. Oh, darn it. They updated JEI, so JEI is kind of broken right now. All of my bookmarks are gone, too. Uh, that was the only downside because the config um but we apparently have quest stuff that's being re-rewarded oh so now we get like rewarded extra things that that would kind of help you know getting a nice jump start in the pack for sure 
Exploration. What is this? Oh, making the boat. Get a. We get a parent spawn egg. No. Uh, that I can save for later for like a feather farm, maybe. All right. The drill. So last, uh, I'll show you what we did like at the end of last stream, uh, because we're gonna have to get into those here soon. Um, and, and continue doing more stuff with it. But anyways, because there were so, still some setup that we had to do from last stream. You want a spawn egg? Bet you do want a spawn egg. Hey, a parrot's actually are one of the spawn mobs now. One of the spawnable mobs. Um, okay. Uh, let's get back. And anything else? Like, this is kind of off to the edge, but that's fine. Um, kind of broken, but... Anyways... Let's see. At least we can... Yeah, when we add this, this is all in the way. Interesting. We'll, we'll make do. All right. So, one thing I was going to show. FTB. We should now have access to the pots. There we go. And somebody said these were really expensive. Like, not... They said they were really expensive as far as power costs. I don't know exactly how expensive the power cost is on them. Somebody said it was really powerful, really crazy. Got a little pack updates. Oh no, this pack, like, it was a pain in the butt to update though. <laughs> Cause uh, GD Launcher wasn't downloading the mods and stuff for it. So it was creating kind of a, of a pain. We're going to be updating this today, by the way. We're going to finish some more power stuff. Get the power stuff upgraded. Okay, so we set up most of this uh, last time. So we have, like, tons of plastic and stuff now. Let's see. I also set up, like, auto craft to be able to take the dry rubber and immediately cook it as soon as it goes in the system. So saves a bit of time there. Um, we need an ender chest. That's something that we actually need. And I don't know. Do I don't have a system yet, which uh, automatically puts things in ender chests, do I? Like, I don't have an auto importer set up? I don't think so. So what I could do is I can have the ender chest down here. We can do it like an advanced importer. M importer. Uh, how expensive is the advanced? We apparently have a recipe for the exporter, but not an importer. We'll make that real quick. And speed upgrades. We can do four for now. In some mod pack, you can craft infinity stones with a fusion core. I bet. There's all kinds of creative people out there that have put together some really interesting, interesting things. All right, so that'll allow everything that goes into this chest to be sorted through. Perfect. And we need to get this inner chest out. Let's see, we need a pipe. Good old fashioned item pipe should work. Nothing fancy. Go to the end city. And this is where we have this set up, believe it or not. <laughs> right up here. And look at all that draconium. It's just too much draconium, you know? And we got to figure out something to do with all of it. All right, let's pop this down. Oh, that makes this perfect, doesn't it? There's a platform in the bottom. These are, this is max speed upgraded, by the way. Four K causes sixty four K is two OP. What do you mean sixty four K is two OP? Refined storage silicon. 
Oh. Did I get it? I think I got it. There we go. That's fast enough, right? Yes, that's plenty fast enough. But there we go. That's Draconium. Um, I also went into the configs and made sure to turn chunk loading back on. Make sure it was a functional thing. You shouldn't really be... I don't feel like oh. gameplay should be limited by how many chunks you can load. Doesn't make sense. In single player, anyways. That shouldn't be a game mechanic going, how, how, how many chunks can you load? Oh, sorry. You've loaded too many chunks. We we're talking about making you a bee for resourceful bees. Uh, and your honeycomb would produce 4k drifts. Oh, okay. 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 Why not have it 4K drives? Man, that's kind of, that's still kind of powerful, isn't it? What about like, um, like it ran, it, it drops like the base materials here at a, at a lower cost, maybe. like the base materials but like the diamond would be like a lower percentage iron would be a higher percentage silicon would be a higher percentage gold would be below that i don't know if that's possible <laughs> i don't know just dropping drives seems really powerful now you want a refined storage bee <laughs> shoot I mean, if it drops it at a really low chance, like, that's fine. That sounds... <laughs> I want that B now. Shoot. And then you get a pack with a uncrafter. Un and you're golden. <laughs> I like Dyer's B. I had mentioned something before, like... What would, what would it do? It would like, it would give you leaves. Um, it'd almost be like a carpentry bee. <laughs> it'd just be a bunch of random stuff. I don't know what's a thing that I always make. What's a thing I always do, chat? There's gotta be something that I just, I, I do, I do every let's play at some point. Yeah, Resourceful Bee lets you make your own bees, yeah. It's up to the dev. It's up to the pack dev, I believe. You don't get how the new Draconic works? Can you explain it? I mean, it's basically the same as old Draconic. We're gonna be setting up our room over in here. Um, now that I have my Draconium, I, I want to at least maybe get Wyvern Flight today, like get regular creative flight with maybe a Wyvern suit, if I can afford it. We need to take this, and we need it auto-processing. What can this crush down in? I hope. Darn it, it can't. Enrichment Chamber gives you five. Pulverizer gives you five. So pulverizer would be the best thing for this. We don't have an auto pulverizer set up, do we? We should totally set that up. So, importer. Well, you know what? I could change these. Well, no, I can't. I can't use the advanced on these. Hold on. Make an advanced exporter. I 
than a regular importer. So, how do I, how am I setting these up? I just basically have the importer on the bottom, advanced exporters. Why am I using advanced exporters? Oh, that's right. That's why. So I'm exporting in the back. Importing from the bottom so I can access it, I guess. I'm trying to remember why I'm doing, why I did the things the way I did. And then uh, point. Every machine is getting its own power at this point. And I don't have automation fully set up on these things yet, which I probably need to. Wait for that facade update. There's a program they said in Minecraft Live they used to design their own mobs. I forgot what it is called. Is it called, um, you're talking about the, the modeling program? Blockbench? Blockbench is uh, what a lot of people use to make mobs. Yeah, block bench, bench is pretty cool. So we throw that in there. Let's set this up. Auto input. Um, top would be in, input. Bottom. Or back. Okay. Uh, thermal. Do I have my... Uh, do I have upgrades in here? I don't. I'm going to be going through this. We are getting into Draconic, I promise. But right now, I've got to make this, this, Signalium. Then that, Aluminum. Voila. I think the only other thing I don't have is going to be the accelerators. Gears, one, two, three, four, five, six. Electrum plates. Now we have plenty. Plenty. All I need for this is this and this. Look at that. We're making... More than it can actually handle. Speed upgrades. I'm going to need like two for that. Speed up a great Arunos. Is that faster? Oh no, that's still not faster. Two more? Uh, talking about blog it only allows for making models plugins to make better addition issues yeah yeah um there are ways there is a way to make mods pretty simply called m uh, m creator but it's still more it's still kind of technical <laughs> as well but it would allow you, like, if you're making it for yourself, like, to, to make custom mobs pretty easily without needing to really know too much about how to make a mod. Much quicker. There we go. No. But yeah. Other than that, I mean, that if you're looking for a simple way to do it yourself, like... Other than making your own mod, uh, that's it. How many mod packs have you played? Just curious. I mean, you can go through my playlist and count. 
<laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know, honestly. Uh, a few. Oh, definitely a few. Most of the main ones. Let's go ahead and get these loaded. I need to get the basic fusion crafter. Hopefully we can maybe get to the wyvern injector today. No, we need uh, nether stars for that, don't we? Um, We don't have a good, we don't have an automated way yet. We could probably set that up though. I need these to basically run on their own. Then we'd have an infinite way of doing that. Yeah, I've been around the block a few times. That's one way of of looking at it. The fact that you can put so much stuff in this filter is quite nice. Oop. What else? Leather pants and leather boots and leather helmet. All of these need to go. A suggestion for a light mod pack. Um, at the moment, Sky Factory One is a probably one of the lightest mod packs. Honestly, that's a Java. Uh, that's a Forge mod pack, anyways. I totally recommend checking that out. It loads up in under five minutes. It loads up for me in like just a minute, less than a minute. Love your Skyfactor 1 videos. Well, thank you. Um, didn't expect any MC creator mods to work nicely with mod packs. Exported mods terribly. Uh, they've, they were in better Minecraft. There was a bunch of them in better Minecraft. And they seemed, I mean, I, I had very little issue with the, with that pack other than like world terrain generation. That was it. Everything else was pretty decent. It was kind of interesting too, to, you know, see some of those things. Cause those would be some mods that. I would never really get to see. If there would be a mod uh, that would greatly decrease the RAM usage of mod packs, but might worsen performance, especially when building, would you use it? Probably not. Might worsen performance, especially when building? You mean like anytime you place a block? No, no, no. I hate, I hate getting like the block lag that when you place a block down, it like, it takes a moment. Oh God, it's so bad. Your friends have been playing ocean block and you've gotten pretty far in the pack, but the end game seems non-existent. 
basically just singularities. Any suggestion on what you do to around build, explore? I don't know. I mean, the end game is singularities. Like it's to the automate the singularities. You need to automate all the singularities. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get through the in-game content, really. The in-game content is singularities. It's kind of... I know. It's, if that's not what you want, there are other mod packs that have... I would say more interesting in-games. For sure. I think all the mod 6 to the sky did it really well. Where it was a really cool, like, in-game. Um... But yeah, it is, it is unfortunately just singularities in this. I mean, I, I didn't make the pack. I'm just, that's just the end game is, that's how a lot of the end games have kind of just, just been unfortunately, even CBW had mentioned it, was talking about it on Twitter. It was like, it's just what it's become for some reason. Uh, whenever you place down the bucket and step in it, it may feed you or set you. I don't, I don't think that's how it works, but this thing does it. If I hold this axe in my hand, notice my saturation bar goes all the way up. Basically gives me like unlimited saturation, which is pretty powerful. Okay. Uh, I guess we can use this inner chest for this. No, I'll worry about it later. We'll set something up for that later. We need to get into the, just basically getting the, the regular wyvern stuff going. And then we'll work on our power because it's going to need a lot of power. How did you make your current base? This I dug out this right here. I started in the dome world. I dug out underneath with a builder. Um, and this goes underneath as well. And then most of it's just like hand placed or I used hand mined out. Like these areas are kind of hand mined out. No, I use the builder for these two. This was done kind of with a builder. And then all the blocks were placed in by hand basically or with tools like the building gadgets. that sort of thing um oh that's right we were gonna get the wither stasis weren't we that was what we were working on last not gonna worry about it just yet we'll worry about it later get this done setting up wither automation is not super crazy hard All right, what am I going to need for these blocks of iron? Let's see if we can't um, get some auto crafting started for this to make our life a little bit easier. All right, we need to craft these blocks of iron. I'm pretty sure I don't have an auto craft. Is this just stone? Okay. to do so how many of these do i need let's see what's the armor what am i shooting for today right because doesn't the basic armor like i want creative flight that's what i kind of want do 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 here's that it should be just a chest piece right what wyvern chest piece Okay, how expensive is that? Not too bad. Add that to our list. It needs a Wyvern controller. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. And we'll get into the energy crystals. But these require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need nine. Craft nine. So 
So while those are crafting, we can work on everything else. <laughs> oh gosh, I forgot already. Coffee bat. Oh my god, a coffee bat? Just coffee in general right now sounds delicious. All right, to upgrade these, uh, we need wyvern cores. So we're gonna have to kill the wither a few times manually, which is no no big deal. We'll do that here in a little bit. Um, draconic cores. So if we're upgrading nine of them for right now, we will need nine of them. Nine times two, 18. Uh, nine blocks and 36 diamonds. I hope we, I don't think we have enough diamonds. Each one of these requires a diamond. We might have enough diamonds. And these require four. Set that auto craft. Uh, draconic block. Nine of those diamonds. Pull these out and just sort of get them lined up. There's those. And then cores. Let's just make the ones that we need. I think we need 36 of these. We need a total of like 27, I think, creative essence. For what? For the flight? We thought we were on the same page. They play all the mod six. I only need a couple of items, but I've never made a bigger reactor because your main power source is 10 max, so if it's reborn. You're going to get a lot more power out of the big reactors, especially in all the mod six. Oh yeah. I recommend like using, I believe, um, liquid starlight is still like the best coolant that you can use like early on platinum. Also, I believe is pretty good in that pack. Uh, like if you have some platinum that you're not using, uh, platinum blocks, that's pretty good. Liquid starlight, I think is one of the better ones. But yeah, kind of have to balance like efficiency and stuff in that. Okay, and then for this, <laughs> this will be nine times four, right? I'm pretty sure we ain't. Uh, Wyvern core. Nine times four. We need 36 more. I need to reinstate these diamonds here. <laughs> Oh wait, no, we have we have infinite diamonds. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? We made diamond seeds. Why don't you guys let me know? Like, hey, Chosen, we have unlimited diamonds. All you gotta do is just farm it for a bit. Also, I should probably check on this because I haven't checked on the last few episodes. Are we losing power? I'm almost positive, yeah, we're losing power. We've just been draining power from this ball slowly but surely. Doesn't this use blocks of it? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't take blocks. Interesting.
Everything else takes blocks. Whatever. I love how the blue eyes is barely even moved. Thirty fusion crafters are needed. Yeah, for late game. I'm not. I'm not rushing towards that right now. We'll get. We'll get to that. But right now is not a good time to to rush that. Yeah, I know. Uh, we we're actually gonna need. Yeah, we'll need thirty. Yeah, we'll have to stand here for a minute. You were so close. Yeah, there's 30 singularities made for the ultimate singularities needed for greatest. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big rabbit hole. The the in-game stuff is kind of a big big rabbit hole, honestly. That it is. Okay, so what, 36 more of these? And then we need to kill, let's see how many nether stars we have. Four. We need to kill at least five more times. Um. Yeah, we can't make the wither build until we've, we've set up shop with a wither. That's fine. Soul sand. Um... Where did we get soul sand from? Just, just out of crates? I guess so, because we've not actually made any of this liquid mob souls. We can do it, though. I guess we can do it. Let's go ahead and get um, this. We have another jar. And this will be just a cool jar. And that all hooked together. Mob souls. And that should create. I need a tank, don't I? Let's generate that, and then we just need sand. What the dog doing? What is it doing? I don't know. The dogs are outside playing. They're having a good old time. I, w I wish I had a dog cam. But then again, I'm always afraid, like, if I set the dog cam up, like, the next thing I know, they would just take a huge dump right on camera. Like, I would have to have a, a key set up to be able to turn the camera off or something, because 
Knowing them, they would just walk right out there and just take a huge dump right in the, just straight in the view. Be the downside to having a dog cam outside. <laughs> just dogs doing what they do. Of course they would. Oh, you know they would. First day. It would be like as soon as it starts, as soon as we started doing it, it would happen. You know it would. It's almost guaranteed. So, question. Out of all of you guys who are here, any of you guys play piano by chance? And, and like own your own piano in your house? Or, or keyboard or some sort of... of piano like a raise of hands am I like the only one because I'm, I'm looking at buying like my first like major piano and like not a, not an acoustic piano but a digital piano um, and I got one in mind I, but I, I haven't had the chance to go to an actual shop to play one yet like to, to try it out before I buy it I don't want to spend that kind of money on a piano and it not be what I want. Like that would be insane. So I want to try it first. You on a keyboard? It's gathering dust for years. Oh God. Yeah, I don't want a keyboard. I want like a home studio piano. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at a Clavinova, a Yamaha Clavinova keyboard. And it's beautiful. And if it sounds the way it sounds from all the audio recordings that I've heard of it, I I would love it. I have a uh, um, upright piano downstairs that I basically refreshed. Um, we need to go to End Island, right? There we go. I need to turn this down, system down. Probably a bit more. Uh, but yeah, I have a, a like I have a, a piano. A, well, I back in the day I had bought a upright piano. Unfortunately, I, I we didn't get to keep it. We couldn't move it in time to to move out of our house that we were living in. Um, and it just it, it just it was a big mess. But I had re fully restored an upright piano. Don't kill you. Need to turn that way down. this off okay anyway you have a, a key lab 88 mk2 it's more of a midi controller yeah this one's more of a studio i'm looking for like a, a in-home like like acoustic replacement sort of thing because I don't think we have the space. We could probably make space, but I don't. I don't think I want to have like a massive centerpiece of a piano. Like, if we did own one or planned on like maybe our next house, maybe we'll kind of make that a focus of like, hey, I want to buy eventually a baby grand, and here's a place that we can put it. Maybe something like that, but like, I need something small, smaller out of the way so yeah i was looking at that uh clavinova and it's it's nice very interested in it i just gotta try it out first we gotta go back where did i put the uh, marker oh i'll jump through here why not kill with a mob crusher true why don't i do that Um, why don't I do that? No idea. Let me show how this item is made. You never became good at any instrument. It just takes time. Like 
I would say piano was my main instrument. But uh, drums and stuff would be my secondary percussion related items. Can read both music. That's the hard thing, though. It takes a long time to learn to read music. It's like learning a new language. 100% it's like learning a language. That is everything I need, right? So. Ooh, what is ocean block? It's uh, just a block full of ocean. Quick and easy. After you said better Minecraft contained MC creator mods, I just wanted to give a seemingly popular one a go. It crashed first frame in a new world generate. What do you mean? Like one of the more popular ones? You just threw it in a random world? I don't understand your your testing there, but yeah. Like you're saying the mod pack crashed for you because it, it loaded just fine for me. I played it for like a, over a month. But anyways, um, yeah, I was looking at that piano. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to spend any money right now. Is it a good time to buy a piano? Is it is buying a piano like buying a car? Like, are they like sitting in a on a racetrack somewhere, just waiting for a computer chip? You know, and while the prices skyrocket, like I I don't know. <laughs> it feels so weird. It's like buying a. It seems like buying a piano is is like one of those weird things. It's like because it, you're literally buying a piece of furniture, not an instrument, basically. So you have to go through like a sales rep, you know? Weird. You have to, you have to find one of those back alleyway, sh like little stores, look through a catalog and like pick out a catalog, except you're spending a lot of, a lot of money. Like <laughs> order this thing out of a catalog. You need 13 more creative essence for the creative fluid tank. Nice. Somebody said that uh, Matrixus was making the creative fluid tank today. Newer fancier your models come out often, so I'd say similar to a car. Yeah. I wouldn't be the one that's constantly updating. It'd be like something I would have for years. That's why I don't want to go cheap. I've had cheap keyboards, like cheap, like home keyboards. And they, they, they're not good, right? It, it may be gr good for like, I don't even know if it's good for someone learning because if you don't get the feedback of an action of a piano, it's really hard to play fast for one thing. Upright pianos aren't really great either for learning to play piano because the action's slow. Um, like you see all these people playing really fast and they're usually playing on like a high-end keyboard with realistic grand piano actions or baby grand piano actions or they're actually playing on a grand piano where the action is really fast and the hammers come back up really quickly. It's like, it's so weird. Then I guess every instrument's kind of like that, though. You get what you pay for. Some would say it's really hard to learn on a cheap saxophone. Just because of it, it's hard to keep your armature and everything 
and play for the sounds to come out properly. Yep. Yeah, my wife played clarinet, but she loved the saxophone, so she probably should have been a sax should have played saxophone in, in high school. But she played clarinet and marching band. Can you make a witherproof block? I'm sure you can, yeah. You can make witherproof rooms. You can make bedrock. Uh actually cyclic's not in here, but yeah, there are wither rooms. I'm just using this because it's convenient. You know what? I was looking for where the thing's at. I have it down here. <laughs> I was like, where's my spawner thing at? Hey, I watched your RL Craft Rebirth and Better Minecraft and Plus. Any other series have you done that's sort of questy? Uh, should check them out. Check out. So if you want stuff that's similar to that that I've played, uh, you missed out on a really good one. Um, what is it called? Uh, Roguelike Dungeons. I played that pack. Or not not called Road Like Dungeons. What is it called? Um Rogue. It's called something. It's really it's like really popular here on the list. Rogue uh Adventures and Dungeons. Yeah, Rogue Like Adventures and Dungeons. It's been around, it's a 112 pack, but it was still really fun. It's really fun after you know how to play properly, though. I mean, yeah, once as long as you understand how the mob, like most mods, work, it's, it's not yeah, it's not too difficult to to get the grasp of how packs work. It's just like solving a puzzle. It's like learning Sudoku. As soon as you figure out how it works, it makes the puzzles a little easier to solve, and it's more fun. Max is just resubscribe. Max CP, dude. Nine months. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, man. Let me uh, go in here. I'll actually turn... Turn the system sounds up a little bit for you guys. Turn them all the way up for me. Let's go into options, music and sound, hostile creatures. Let's turn that way down. Because that's what's making all the noise, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the nine months, by the way. Your Twitch baby's here, by the way. You'll be receiving it in the mail in about five or six business days. <laughs> I just wanted to stop by and say how much I enjoyed watching you go from 60K to almost 500K. You're one of the best YouTubers that I've seen, and you put so much work into all of your vids. Thank you for giving all of us such great content. Thank you. For those really kind words, I I do appreciate that. Thank thank you. Jeez, you're gonna make me blush on camera. Oh, blush on camera. It has been it has been a crazy ride. Like that's for sure. <laughs> Give the meltdown days five or six business days. Oh God, it's still loud. Is it the blocks that's br like the block noise that's making it really loud? I don't know. It'll be five to six business weeks. Yeah. Unless you're Amazon and you have your own vehicles that subsidize or like uh, that are helping USPS, man. They are at max capacity. And with fewer, fewer, fewer workers. What's crazy is during the holiday time last year, um, our mail carrier, which is sort of like a more rural mail carrier, um, I seen her her Jeep, and I felt so bad because you could tell she had like already been delivering a bunch of stuff. The whole back of her Jeep was full of boxes just come full of boxes just things to deliver and this was just a regular usps mail carrier it was just so packed full of stuff 
Dio Boy 3D, just resubscribed with Twitch Prime for Dude two boy. months. 3D, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome in with that two month resub. Appreciate that, dude. Are we getting close to the Draconic? Are we close? I want to say yes. We're, we're pretty close to this. Uh, we need to auto craft this. I don't think redstone is set to auto craft. So we'll set that bad boy up. We'll set that up. I think that's it for that. Um, okay. So, what what was we needing? We need uh, nine of the wyvern cores. Uh, Lily Jaggy YouTube, I think that's all right. It says, uh, "What's your favorite style of pack to play?" I. I enjoy a mix of both. I like adventure packs. They're really fun. I've actually found myself enjoying those the most recently. Like when I played through better Minecraft, it was really fun just to explore and find new things. But what sucks is once you do find all the new things, you, you basically need new mods to come around for a new pack to be, to be fun. Otherwise you're going to see the same structures over and over again and then you kind of understand how they work and then the fun kind of fades after that point i don't know that's why i like both i like stuff that allows you to do techie stuff automation processes because you can do your automation process different every single time you don't have to do it the same way but yes seeing the structures and stuff i like it but after you've seen them all over and over again yeah it, it gets kind of repetitive. Okay. This right here. I'm kind of excited. We also need the flight module. Now, it just gives us... Let me see. Um, it's not going to give us create a flight, is it? It's going to give us... Um, I think we have to upgrade to Wyvern, don't we? Where's it at? Right here. We have to go up to Draconic to get creative flight. Which we... We'd have to make Draconic armor. We do have Draconium. The module's not bad. What is the upgrade to the, Dr the Draconic chest piece? It's not crazy. But you need a draconic powered. Oh, that's going to be kind of rough on us. We may not be able to get to there today, but we'll at least be able to get at least a Lytra flight, which is not horrible. Not exactly what I want, though. Uh, the only other creative flight that I can think of would be to make um, essence an essence farm. We just farm essence. Uh, speaking of automation, what do you think about the power creep issue of mods like mechanism? I think there just needs to be mods that utilize the power. Are you saying that like, are you saying that mechanism costs way too much power? Or it generates too much power because it can generate a lot of power. All I want to do is play right now, but you're stuck in study hall. Hey, enjoy school though. I tell you what, enjoy it. <clears throat> dragon hearts. This makes how many does the dragon heart make? This makes four blocks. What do, what do we need to get to? Draconic. I know we need a bunch of power, but... What is it going to take? Where's the Draconic? Why am I missing it? There it is. Uh, so it needs one block. That's actually not horrible. They just... I mean, we have the Nether Stars. I don't know. We'll see. 
it's best to do this mod once you have Nether Stars fully automated. All right. Um, here's all the stuff to get these at least upgraded to Wyvern. Um, can I at least make these? Basic energy crystals. Don't I need a wand or something? Where's the, what's the wrench? It's right here, is it? No, I don't want to use my stuff. I gotta make these. That should hopefully work. I need a point. You found mechanism to be too tedious. I mean it it's gonna be needed in this pack for sure but yeah it, it can be tedious but all the mods can like all all these mods can really be tedious um <clears throat> I'm not really I mean I dove deep enough into this to basically get ourselves a digital miner to that I used earlier but yeah zero right. obedience just subscribed with twitch prime Oh, that's right. We also need this. Uh, zero obedience. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, by the way. Did you update the pack? I did update the pack. I finally got the ability to do so. I had to download the FTB launcher, download it through FTB finally because it actually worked, and then I moved those files into the GD launcher. <laughs> even though I tried to update it with the GD launcher by installing a new pack in that version, and it didn't even install the pack in that version for some reason. It left out some mods, so I don't understand. I don't know what's why it's not working, but... That was the thing. Lapis blocks. Yeah, I forgot I, I need to make the fusion core. Uh, and this needs one of those. This goes right in the center of the room. <laughs> Crystal and then is that not going to send power to it? How am I gonna? Okay. Alchemist seventy six, just subscribe That's with a Twitch Prime. I don't need the relay. I need the IO. There we go.
Try to remember these right. Um, <laughs> Alchemist, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime as well. Thank you. At least you got a sound and not a regular creeper. <laughs> or worse, a baby one. Oh, yeah, it's just a sound. Block position, save the tool, sneak right click the air to clear. No. So do I have to have an IO crystal on each one of these? I thought this says wireless. Oh, or is that the uh, next tier? Logic shirt gotta love it. I, I like I like Logic. I like that. I like his music. Sad that he's like not around, but yeah. He's been streaming on Twitch though. I've reached the limit. No. Um. Can this, can this not cr connect to multiple crystals? Don't remember. It has been so long since I've played with Draconic that I don't remember anymore. Okay, so I can only do two. I don't need that because I don't need this. Hopefully this works. I think. Does it only use power when it needs it? I don't remember. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Light theme or dark theme? Interesting. All right, fun part. If I remember this correctly. Then it needs this. Did I make too many of those? I did. No, I didn't. Hold on. What am I doing wrong? Wyvern core, two draconic. I got that right. Four, and then we're missing our blocks. Okay. And then we put this in and hit craft, and the charger's not working. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know how these work then. <laughs> Why don't I just use cables? Cables are slow. I don't remember how these work. Why is this not outputting 13 FE a tick? Oh, are these just really slow?
the transfer rate is this says four million three point nine this is not charged that's not receiving charge that's not receiving charge are these broken input how do i change the io mode to export How do you change the mode? Oh, there we go. Output. Maybe the easy be set to output. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now it works. <laughs> what a dork. Such a dork. That was my fault. <laughs> my fault. These are all set to output now. I didn't know there was the, the mode set like that. Not very intuitive. I mean, it. That's just me being a dork. That's just me not understanding. John underscore There's Foxy a book, but the book's just not subscribed updated. with Twitch Prime. John Foxy, thanks so much for that Twitch Prime. Welcome into the crew. Yeah, there is a there is a book, so it would be intuitive. But the the book isn't done. You've only seen it done on the challenge map. True. Uh, we've done it all the time. We used to do it all the time. Goodness. Why is there a little me? <laughs> because you stepped. Subs get a nice little you. Hey, Chosen, can you cut the 76 off my name to get my Minecraft skin? I have no idea. I can try. I don't know if I have a name tags. I don't know if this works or not.
That is a Tinker's Anvil. <laughs> Let's see. Does this work? I don't remember. Supposed to, I think. No. Yeah, no, I unfortunately can't. Thought name tags will work, but it doesn't seem to. Oh, that's cool. I've been watching your videos on YouTube for a while. I've been really enjoying them. I haven't finished the Sky Factory one vids, but I'm gonna do that real quick. Awesome. Yep, that Sky Factory vid is up and live at the moment. It's all good. All we're doing here is the same old same old over and over again. The same old stuff. It's a different day. Later on, it'd be easy because it'd just be all automated. Draconic. What are we missing on the air? Awakened. That requires a crux, doesn't it? We could make that? Needs insanium. Do you plan on making the draconic reactor at some point? That's not the reactor that I want to make. No, I want to make the mycelial reactor. And get the mycelial reactor set up. No crux are needed in pots? Are they? So you can place the draconic seed, but it wouldn't need the... Like, what does this need? This needs insanium farmland, though. Makes nuggets of it anyways. Hi, question. Project Ozone 3 had an update lately. Are you going to play it? No. You won't, you won't see me playing Project Ozone, probably. It's just, I don't want to get sucked in that rabbit hole of playing those kind of packs. I don't have an, I don't stream enough to play those kind of packs. I like to have fun while I'm streaming. And not have to, like, stress out the whole time over what I'm doing. Hipper1, just resubscribed with Twitch Prime for two months. Hyper One, dude, thank you so much for that. Of all the architects on the internet, you're the most chosen. Keep I'm being the awesome. most chosen. Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the two month resub. Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> so weird conversation when you're, you say, like, have a nice day. Like, does that mean you're leaving? Okay. <laughs> First of all, nice headphones. Are those uh, M20Xs? And second of all, what mod pack, um, if any, are on the Patreon server? Finally, third of all, you sound vaguely different on stream than in videos. On videos, there's a little bit of post-processing that can happen, that happens. 
Um, as far as these, these are MX 50 X's. Um, and after a year, the head, the cups ended up wearing down and started to, to break. So I bought new ear cups and I bought white ones. Um, and then you were talking about Patreon servers that are active right now. Actually, actually, believe it or not, we just opened up a new Patreon server. So we have vanilla running 117 um, with MCMMO and all kinds of fun stuff. So we have a vanilla server. Um, and then at the moment, we have Sky Factory 1. And I still believe that... Uh, let's see. I'll actually make sure. Because um, I'm pretty sure the... Uh, the 112 pack is still on there. Well, if I can't sift through. Yeah, Divine Journey. So we have Sky Factory 1, Divine Journey 2. Uh, we have our vanilla um, subserver that has MCMO stuff and all kinds of cool stuff. And then we just opened up a uh, vanilla bedrock server, believe it or not. So we have something for everyone. And all those can be found on the Discord. Your sub. There's multiples. That's even better. Yeah. We have several servers up. Believe it or not, we even have a bedrock. Miles just opened that up today. Which we talked about, and I was like, "Yeah, it wouldn't hurt, right? Like, it's such a low end thing to run." So, sure, throw it on our on our rig. Yep, it's a bedrock server. Hey, I've been I've been having fun playing with my wife on bedrock. We uh, created a realm and stuff, so it'll be kind of been kind of fun. She plays on the Xbox, and I can play on like the computer or phone or whatever while she's playing, so we can play together for once. She's learning the ropes of Minecraft slowly but surely. She learned uh, the other day how deadly the uh, the Nether is, as she uh, she definitely died in the nether you have sky factory 4 running on a raspberry pi that's pretty cool i mean yeah i guess it would easily work with it with that wouldn't it it'd probably get hot though i bet that'd be pretty warm i have a raspberry pi it's the 8 gig one the latest Raspberry Pi that I turn into a uh, retro pie that we take with us camping. I did make too many. I thought I did. I was like, that looks like too, way too many. We'll save them for later. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> Do you need not nine for one recipe? No. Basically, you need eight. So I make nine, so I have one extra to start with for the recipe. Like, this requires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thing, uh, eight crafters. So you need nine to start the first craft. Because the other ones are being used. So really, you don't have to craft the last ninth one if you don't want to. But later on, it's going to be needed. Um, <laughs> Here's the fun part, right? These are wyvern cores, right? <clears throat> what do we need for the draconic? We need eight of them. We only need eight. We only need to upgrade these with eight. Um, we have the ability to do it. The eight. The 
need 16. We'll need eight draconium blocks. So let's prep for this upgrading to draconium. Uh, we have a little bit of draconium. I don't, I don't know how much we'll see. We got it as a quest reward. So we have three blocks worth. Uh, how much do we need a block for each one? So we have to kill the dragon a couple more times. The recipe for making this. Four blocks of draconium. I think we have enough stuff to do this. I could make the seeds, but the seeds uh, take too long. Why is your screen black on Twitch? You probably need to refresh the stream. So six of those. Oh no, I, um, do I not have gas tears? There's no way I've used all of the gas tiers. All right, fluorite seeds, interesting. An <laughs> elementium helmet. We might have to do a few things now. Um, so let's see. We have to go to the nether. Yeah, we'll have to go to the nether. We have to find a gas spawner. What mod pack is this? This is called Ocean Block. Ah, there we go. I wanted that hat anyways. need a few of them aren't we like three at least three sets could use a wyvern core i should have done that and just captured the mob spawner
That would have been an awfully loud mess. Cardboard box. Well, I think the wire, the moving them is a little easier. There's four. We can use cores on them and they turn into better spawners. So one thing I miss about extra utilities was having that uh, that's extra utility spawner, the dark spawner, whatever it was called. Man, I missed it. Extra utilities. Yes, this is one sixteen five. So unfortunately, there's no axolotls. Uh, I believe Pothiosis spawner stuff is disabled. This doesn't even have a Pothiosis. Yeah, Pothiosis isn't in here. What you doing, bro? There's eight. I'm going to mark this spot too. Oh, I can come back and get that spawner later. Have I played the TMP limitless mod pack? I have not. If you if you haven't if you don't see it in my playlist on YouTube, I've probably not played it. Other than this one, which I've been kind of testing out on here. I still might play this on YouTube. I don't know. Who's rocking that fro? Come here. Finally get you live. Well, welcome in. Yeah, we're going to kill the dragon at least four times. The, uh, we can't kill the dragon with the, um, mob crusher, right? I think it actively seeks out to, to destroy the mob crusher. back real quick. I'm going to grab the the spawner. There we go. This will make it a little easier. Then we'll just set our mob farm back up. Do we have enough pink Vendita slime for right now? Turned on the sprinkler. This. Oh no. Making it rain 100 bits. I, I think. Always enjoy coming back around. Test this, 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 this. Thank you so much for the, uh, the bits. I appreciate them. And the kind words. All right, we grabbed that stabilized mob spawn and we're ready to head back. It's 
to watch your last uh, Stone Black One video. Oh my God, Stone Black One. My goodness. I had a lot of fun though playing Stone Black One. Stone Black Two though, I had a lot more fun. Nope, wrong way. Does it matter? Oh, that's gonna be fun. Um, why does it have to be facing this way? Why? All right, dark glass. Let me fill this back up. Log. All right, now we're looking much better. Perfect. I'll just let it do its thing. I mean, as far as heads go, though, it'd be better off if we had something different. Now I gotta figure out where to put this spawner. I'm thinking I'm just place it in the floor. Just place all that, but oh well. Perfect. Hopefully that actively kills them. Okay. I'm not getting gas tears from it. Interesting. Manny I taught just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Oh, because this is collecting the items in it. Um, doesn't it show the items that it's collecting? Thought I had an inventory. This is my inventory. Collect items. Oh, it goes into the adjacent inventory. Yeah, never mind. Ah, there we go. There's the guest here. Um, is it? I said it. I think I've already said it wrong. Manita, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Welcome in. Uh, this is the same playthrough as on YouTube. No. This is a different mod pack. This is this one's called Ocean Block. Uh, 
Oh my god. I think spawned right there. No thank you. Alright, how many gas tiers we have? Almost have enough. We need a couple more. Come on, gas. Do your thing. Come on down. Oh, just came over the vid post and didn't know what you're playing? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this is uh this is called OSHA Block. It's a it's a newer mod pack as well. I think the problem with these is they're not spawning properly in here, so they're getting stuck in the wall, and then items can't be gathered that way. Which is kind of unfortunate. This thing is almost full. It's crazy. That killed it. Perfect. There we go. All right. So you need to use these to make some crystals. I don't know if I have... I think they also added they had the conversion for this too. Yes. Thank God. I can now uncraft that. All right, there's all these. Dragon. I mean, what can we use to nearly one-shot the dragon? premium sword does a lot of damage we might be able to get to that I don't know An imperium Should be able to definitely update this sword. All right, uh, ingot this that boy. I need two of them. Mob Crusher? Yeah, I, mean, I we haven't... So, I've been kind of trying to stay away from the mob stuff because it just becomes a pain in the butt, but we will set up mobs. Mob grinders and stuff. Soonish. Soonish. Gaku underscore black 765 oh, no. dropped their cat and 100 bits exploded from it. Meow. Oh Meow. no! Meow. Bada. Bada, Bada boom. boom. Oh, it's the other way around, isn't it? There we go, Imperium Sword. Boom. Almost get one shot. Wow, this still doesn't one shot. That's 17 attack damage. How did they not one shot? Google Black, thank you for the thank you for the hundred more bits. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Uh I don't have enough like Imperium for yeah, we have a couple of Supremium, but that's it. I wonder if there's anything I can do with these. Nice. We can use it for a cutting board at least. 
All right, we got some dragons to kill. Um, didn't I make an arrow or something like bow? Yeah, electric bow. That should last us for a little bit. We should be pretty fine. We have like infinite health here, so just killing the dragon, you know, no, no big deal. Yeah, we should be fine. Shouldn't destroy anything, I don't think, right? Shouldn't. Let's hope not. We got another dragon to fight, though. We got to get these hearts. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Options. Is there no, like, sound options? Other than master volume to turn down for this? It's so loud. E6 doesn't need a big PC. Mac runs fine on it. What? Why are you hitting me? Oh, that almost killed me. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I don't have the greatest in the armor in the world on. I have slime boots. Gaku underscore black 765 that turned on dead. the sprinkler. This. Wow. Making it rain 1000 bits. Calming back around. Test this, 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 That's the thing. <laughs> New mobs. I'll I'll redo it, but I know the mobs gonna be super laggy. I forgot about the head issue. Gaku underscore black seven sixty five yeah. dabbed causing one thousand bits heads. to fall into I chosen's hands. Find. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. It causes so much lag with the heads. The mob heads. Uh, even having your head in my inventory. If it was skinned, I could keep it, but unfortunately I can't because it's not skinned. Oh god, it causes so much lag. Yep. Need to fix that. Remove that from there, that's for sure. Kill my baby. Alright, dragon, you can seriously land. What's on your head? Do you have a hat on? Oh my gosh, the dragon has a hat on. Why is this not hitting at all? Like, I wonder, does the mob crusher not work on this? Like, uh. Manny I taught just subscribed with a tier three sub. Wow, did you just upgrade to the tier three sub? <laughs> Manny, to thank you for the tier three sloppy sub. nachos wow. 83 just sloppy subscribed nachos. with Twitch Prime. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome in. My goodness. You guys are going sub happy today. I am. I'm excited about that. How high does this reach? Gaku underscore black 765. Dad no, causing so 600 bits to fall into it's chosen's so bad. hands. Zombie children go. The lag. It's like a curse. 
The lag itself is, is so bad that it generates cats. Ugh. All right, we're back. <laughs> I killed it. It's too bad. Can't stay in this world. This is a range four. But it doesn't go any taller than three blocks, so it would have to be like here. Which it, it's super likely to definitely destroy that. Why can I hit it? Yeah, it'd have to go a couple blocks up, wouldn't it? Watch me end up losing this block. Pretty sure there's like some rules and stuff around it. Not being near it or able to be near it. How far out does this reach? I need to go one, two, three. A little too close for my comfort. Almost positive, like a protection block is not like the protection wand will not care either. Many I taught. Dabbed causing oh, 1,000 bits to fall into Chosen's hands. <laughs> Love your videos. Manny... <laughs> Am I saying that right? Manny Ida? Manny Ida? Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Love your videos. Now I, there's a head I can keep. Oh, don't destroy it. Don't destroy it. Don't destroy it. Oh. <gasps> It doesn't give you the dragon heart? It does! <clears throat> the portal didn't open though. Wait, what? I don't get it. Okay. Gaku underscore black 765 just subscribed with a tier one sub. Um,
when you place this back down, it re-summons the dragon? I am so confused as to what's going on right now. Did the dragon already die? No. I'm going to leave and come back this time without spawning them that way. Yeah, it's not doing the animation for the, uh, the dragon spawn in and it's not refilling the towers. Like, it's still spawning a new dragon in? And it takes a moment for this to work? It's just not doing the animation for it. The portal's not forming because I think a player didn't kill it. And it's doing something where, like, it shows the inner dragon still exists. Like, if I killed it, I bet it would... would work. Yeah, it spawned it in. And then, oh wow, that fire block saved this. Is this collecting stuff? Oh, it is, it's collecting dragon scales. Wonder if Buzz knows about that. Uh, I mean, we should have a way of automating it, right? Automating killing the the dragon. Why shouldn't we be able to kill the dragon automatically? I just wonder if there's a good way to automate this. Manny I taught turned on the sprinkler. This making it rain 100 bits. Coming back around. Ocean block magmatic six. Well, they're two different, like very different packs. Um, one is going to be more. Uh, I don't know, is it going to be more challenging? Like, Ecumatica 6 is definitely a bigger... A bigger pack. And more around exploration, where this one's built around more of a Skyblock theme. So if you want to play more of a Skyblock, this is the pack. If you want to play more of a open world exploration, Ecumatica. In my opinion. 
All right, uh, do I have any block? I don't have any block because there's no torches. I don't have any block that I can use. It's so weird. I was not expecting this to do this. I was hoping it would. Can you capture a dragon in a mob imprisonment tool? No, it's a boss. You can't do the wither either. Yeah, the portal's not open. Still funny to watch though. I just wonder if it's in, it meant to be that way. Are you meant to manually fight it the whole time, which is kind of a pain. Hey, there's a torch. Oh no, this is definitely a bug. This is definitely a bug. Yeah, that just respawned without needing anything. It just infinitely respawns and dies. <laughs> oh goodness. That's, yeah, that's a thing. Um, shouldn't the dragon egg only spawn one time? No, there's a mod in here that adds them. To, it allows them to spawn multiple times. So we just chilled in here for a bit and another dragon just spawned. I'm confused. Chunk load easy dragon farm. Does it just constantly do that though? But we don't have anything to collect the items. We have to use like an item collector. And then to get the dragon hearts. That. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I the only one that's seen this so far? Or has someone else done this? What happens if you just kill it normally? If you kill it normally, the portal opens up. I'm going to message soon. Here it goes again. Let me go here. I'll go to my content. What is it? Clips.
Yeah. There it goes again. Just yeet. Um, yeah, we need some sort of collector to be able to collect that item. I mean, it's going to stay the same, right? It's going to keep doing it. Can we chunk load in this dimension? I just wonder if it happens even when I'm not in here. I don't think the collector is in here. Oh, there are in here, aren't they? This is just insane. I feel lag from something. It's there. I don't know if it spawns if I'm not here. You have to be there for it to work. I don't know. I'll test it out. I'll leave for a bit and we'll come back and we'll see. Do you have to be there for it to land on its uh, thing, I guess? Does it like need to detect a player? <laughs> you see dragon farm I saw so far. I know that's like the cheesiest dragon farm I've ever seen. Let's see shaders. I forgot this mod was even in here. Just basically need some way to protect yourself from the... the stuff and you're good. Jeez. The things that happen here. Stand in your wither room and you should be fine. Yeah, basically just standing there. Yeah. Yeah, does the dragon... The, does a, the dragon doesn't, like, go through the blocks anymore like it used to, does it? Or does it? I, I don't... They change the way the dragon works... Like, it just, it definitely acts different. It still goes through the ground. But it shouldn't go through the ground through the portal.
Only through pillars? Yeah, because it used to break blocks like bad. All right, that should have been enough time to definitely just check and see if it happens automatically. I think that means it happened. We cleared this out, didn't we? I didn't clear the chest out. Okay. Oh, I told you. <laughs> okay, I didn't. But it's still working. There's so many dragon eggs all over the place. Yeah, I just watched it pop into existence. Would be safe standing under here? We'll find out. I heard the dragon. Did it pop? It popped. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. As long as the boss bar, she will respawn. Oh my god. That's awesome. Anytime we need, we just AFK in there. We're good. And I think we can start it up anytime just by turning that on or off. I don't need the thing to be full. OP? It's not OP. Get, come on. It's not. It's not OP. Come on. Come on. It's not OP at all. Had to leave. Say, I had to leave. Just come back. Why not make seeds? Well, originally, because the seeds only give you a nugget, so it would take a long time for us just to farm one little thing with our acceleration wand. It would take quite a bit of time. Uh, how many do we need for the... So we have enough blocks now to upgrade all of these. The wyvern cores, we need 16. How many are we short? Oh, we have enough. Oh, wow. Is there an item user in this pack? Uh, should yeah, there is. I don't I don't know if uh. I was thinking about doing that using integrated dynamics. For this, so basically we would take this with integrated dynamics, and we would have the integrated integrated dynamics user use it on something, and click it, um, as fast as it can. I don't know if that's very fast, but we could have it do that. Okay, if we can get to Draconium, hopefully I can make this. I want to get this so I can make creative flight. That's basically what I want. One, two, three, four.
And I thought it was going to happen. A whole lot faster than I thought. Put a wand in the user and place it against a botany pot. Yes. Problem is, is it runs on power. So as soon as it's uncharged, you'd have to pull it back out and charge it back up, right? It will not charge any user. The new Draconic seems awesome. Uh, I like the particles a lot better, but it's it's basically the same. I mean, other than crafting a full set of Wyvern armor, you just craft this instead. Also, let me take a look at this, because I also need... This is my end goal to get creative flight. Thank you, by the way, for that hydration. I appreciate it. Wasn't there a player item? What do you mean? you <laughs> oh god all right uh this we need this then we need this we have to make some stuff to get that but these all look pretty simple to get he drank water mm-hmm Guess I can get the auto crafting stuff ready for this. I need. I can go ahead and say, hey, make. Oh, I don't have auto crafts for these. I'm going to farm some more nether guys before we we're able to complete that from the looks of it. to farm some more withers how many more like those are draconi those are why one two three one two just two just two So the something that represents the player. So instead of you being AFK, the item was standing there for you. Yeah, I don't know if anything would work that way in that dimension. I don't know how that would work, honestly. I don't think there's anything like that. Like a fake player is a thing, but I don't know how the dragon reacts to fake players. You know, quote unquote fake players.
Because, like, technically, like, a breaker is, a, is considered a fake player. Did I ever play Igmatica 2 Expert? I did play Igmatica 2 Expert, but we played it on stream during a 24-hour live stream. There is many utilities. Yes, there is many utilities. But, I, I, like I said, I don't know if that's how they function. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get at. I have seen the wolf, didn't I? I have one of the pets as a wolf. All right, there's all the crafters we need. For now. Um, let's go kill... Withers are called the skulls. Everything else is heads. Okay. Um, and some soul sand. I don't have a lot of it, but... That's a thing. Forgot it fills up with fluid containers like that. So while the dragon's being killed, we can kill this thing. Multifunctional. I see the dragon flying around on the map. You can see him flying around on the mini-map. It's coming down for a landing, I think. Yeah, it's coming down for a landing. Oh, shoot. That'd be a pretty easy way of doing that. Yes, there is a Wither Builder in this pack. I just, I haven't farmed the ether yet. To get it. This one's kind of wandering around instead of, uh... Immediately landing. There it goes. I don't think you want to go in here. Yeet! Oh, jeez. Wait, where'd the Imperium come from? Does this... Do we get Imperium from... Killing this? With a... By a player? Because we weren't getting that before oh my god you do you know what only with the sword of the same mode so like if you kill it with um <clears throat> supremium you get supremium That's kind of cool.
The Enderman just del got deleted. I don't even know where it went. Oh, shoot. Dragons. Dragon's smart. Keeps respawning. Notice that? Oh, my God. How crazy is that, though? I almost took an L for not paying attention right there. I was reading Discord. When's the next 24 hour? I won't be doing a 24 hour for a long time. 24 hour streams are, um, they're not good for you at all. Yikes. Gotta get out of there. A darn dragon with his fireball. <laughs> then when is the first 48 two times longer two times better no they they are rough so yeah the more of them that i've done i've done three 24-hour live streams and i can tell you that they are they are rough i just want to watch it pop Doink. it needs to make like a funny noise Doink. Unintentional, easy dragon farm. Anyone? The things that you would only discover <laughs> while uh, playing literally this on stream. Oh, jeez. All right, so I want to make this, right? So I'm gonna need... to make this. Then I need... I just apparently unlocked those quests. Okay. Um. Ender pouch, another star generator. Nice. Ring of far reach, but we don't have any mana. Apparently, something else we have too. Oh, obsidian boat. We haven't gotten an obsidian boat in a while. It's kind of nice. What are your PC specs? Because uh, it seems like you run all of your mod packs so smoothly. Uh, it's linked down in the uh, description down there. It's down in my tags here on Twitch or down in the description of my YouTube videos. There's a spec sheet list with all the parts and everything. I think there's also a specs command, exclamation point specs. Or maybe it's PC. No. It's one that Joe Pervon made.
Sarcasm. Noob. He has no diamonds. Yeah, I have no diamonds. A total noob. No diamonds. What a pleb. She'll learn how to play Minecraft. Should he even be playing Minecraft, honestly, at this point? It's a kid's game anyways. I hate when people say that. What burns me more, though, is I've been told that uh, all I do, I, like, as far as my job, like, what I do for a living, I told somebody, like, what I do, and I said, I'm, I'm, I make content for YouTube, I play video games, and then they said, oh, so all you do is mess Many around all day? Turned on the sprinkler, this, making it rain 1,000 oh, no, bits. you have a hat. Coming no back around. Test, 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 test. <laughs> you stop on keyboard, oh, God. Manny, Manny, thank you so much. Gotta get that head. There we go. Hey, we actually got some pant leggings. Gotta get another head. Let's see. Um, start putting them on the head. Put put the heads on the walls, on the runes. That's not creepy at all. Thank you for the thousand more bits, though. Jeez. Appreciate that, honestly. Okay, I think I have all the stuff. Is that it? I think so. Kind of convenient that it just gives it to you. All right, here we are. Here we do it. We're about to get ourselves into the creative flight range real soon. Chess piece. We are about to make a wyvern chess piece. Shift C to open the module config. I'm kind of interested in what this is going to do. <laughs> the, yeah, the response to that is yes. And are you jealous? Oh, goodness. I guess that, that is a way, like, when people make fun of you. Wow, look how cool that looks. I've heard that, like people are kind of directing like uh negativity towards you to answer back in a literal like be literal when you answer back and it it, it reverses it onto them i've heard that that's a, a good way to approach people uh kind of shaming you publicly to be very literal back Uh, let's see, Draconic. Okay, so we have all the stuff, I think, for this. Netherite. The old Draconic hits different. <laughs> I don't know, this is interesting. This looks really cool, though. That chest piece, I don't know. Yeah, the, the whole armor set is was pretty nice. I think this is a lower timer than the diamond does. It's sad they're jelly. I don't know. Like it was a, it was a, he was a business guy that I had talked to. Um, he was, an, I guess, an insurance salesman. That's kind of what he did. But it was just funny when he said that. I was like, "Hold up a minute, hold up, like." Bite my tongue. I'm like, just bite your tongue. All right. Bite your tongue. It's not like I spend 
close to 12 hours a day in my office working. I had to, I had to bite my tongue on that one. So this is that. I need a wyvern core. Look at that. Would you look at that? Magic. How's he doing that? How's he doing what? Pulling up the autocraft? It's a new feature. If you have the recipe available, then all you have to do is when it pulls up like a request for it, for something like this, for example, like it's turning orange and so it shows blue because I have crafts available, but I don't have the item inside the storage. Or are you talking about how I got the netherite so fast? With the wand. Because that's just using an auto clicker. Using my uh, hotkey thing. Okay, and then that goes in here. Wyvern chess piece. And then we got to get the upgrade module for the creative flight. And then we can get rid of this crappy jetpack. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready to get rid of this jetpack. Draconic body piece. What does it look like in there? Put the items random. Oh yeah, yeah, you can put the items. They just have to be set up like the recipe though. And they can hold stacks of items. God, that looks so cool. Looks like Tony Stark with his center centerpiece in his chest. Like the power is there. Um, so we have to make the Wyvern flight module. That's going to require this. Then two Draconium cores. Elytra and a firework. I love how people have, have mentioned to me, they're like, Chosen, there is no fireworks in the pack you can't craft them and i'm like you yes you can you can totally craft fireworks you just don't know how all right and then for this wyvern cores perfect i farmed up just enough okay we need a slow fall potion Brewing stand. Nether wart. I don't know if I can click these bottles on one of these on the, I guess I can click it here in the water. Dude, distance, social distance, dude. You are so slimy. I'm gonna get the slime vid. They're not supposed to be spawning, by the way. They're completely not supposed to be spawning. I'm not gonna fix that right now. Awkward potion. We'll get that phantom membrane in that bad boy. Awesome. And then last but not least. Boom. Create a flight. We got create a flight right here. Look at that. Would you look at that? Shift C, flight module in. Um, can we adjust the flight module? So Elytra flight to disable, create a flight enabled. Perfect. Uh, charge zero.
The dev was lazy? I wouldn't say the dev was lazy. That is definitely far from the truth. Mana weave robe. Another, another nether star generator. Um. Control C. Oh, we need an energy module to function. Oh, that's right. I think somebody mentioned that about the energy module. Ah, okay. Two wyvern energy modules. A little bit of a rabbit crafting rabbit hole, but it's so worth it if we can get to this. And we need two of those. So we need four of these. And then nuggets. Perfect. And done. Energy core. Okay. Interesting. So it's uh, like a puzzle for your modules. So you can only fit so much in here. It uh, reminds me of like uh, PoE. Create a flight. Yes. Yes. No disrespect, my lazy. By the way, I oh, don't know. There we go. How nice is that? It's so much nicer. Ah. Uh. So much better. Oh no. I think it still works. Um, wow. It's got casted into space. All right. Throw that in there. All right. Many so, I talk dropped their cat and 1,000 bits for me exploded to, from see. it. Meow. Damage. Meow. Damage report? Meow. Oh no. Wow. Bada. Bada no boom. shield installed. Oh shoot. <laughs> we take so much damage. Thank you so much. <laughs> Manny, thank you. Thank you so much again for the thousand. I appreciate that. Throw throw your head back up on the wall. We can fly. Fly like an eagle. Let my spirit carry me. I wanna fly. Nice. We get ring of dexterous motion. What is? I don't remember that. Is that a later tier item. Look at our chest, though. What a cool looking pattern. That's using like a uh, graphics. That looks really familiar, like that was used, that like texture thing. Seeing it shows Um it looks like the thing that was used in Sky Factory 4 when you opened up the prestige menu. There was like options for like different animations that were uh that were graphic I guess graphics card based. I know some people had issues with it because of not having a particular graphics card. Interesting. All right, let's get this healed back up. All right, so shield module. 
What are all the modules though? Like, so we have energy, we have speed, we have Dust damage Crafter module. Just subscribed with a tier one hey, sub. We. Dust Crafter, do you think of the tier one sub? I appreciate that, my dude. Look at you, he's got his own like uniform on. Oh, speaking of Crafter and Dust, uh, Dusk, Dust, which sounds a lot like Dust. Dust Crafter, thank you, by the way. Uh, we, my wife and I watched Dune last night. I wanted to, it was two hours, two and a half hours long, right? I wanted to watch more. Like, I wanted to continue this. I could have watched it all night long. There needs to be more. Part two needs to come out, like, now. Like, I want to watch it. I'm so intrigued. Um, okay, so we have AOE, projectile accuracy, project, this is for the tools, isn't it? Uh, projectile gravity compensation module. That probably just makes it shoot perfectly straight. Projectile penetration module. There's the shield control module. Shield capacity, large shield capacity module. Draconic Shield Recovery Module. Draconic Undying Module. Auto Feed Module. Oh shoot, these are all things I'm gonna want. I'm gonna want the Auto Feed. 100%. Darn it. I'm definitely going to need the basic shield controller and the shield recovery. I'm assuming you need both. That's actually not too bad to make. Just don't know if I have the, I don't have the nether stars. What this? This will require another star in it. Hmm. We sacrificed it for no shield. How big? Oh, it tells you how big the module sizes are. Oh, okay. I see it. I see. I see. It. So this is a wide by wide. So is this just the shield? Shield capacity, or is this is this the shield? Shield cooldown, 10 seconds. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so this shield recharges 8,000 RF per tick. Let the crafting begin. A large capacity can be turned into five. Oh, so you need five. Ah. Why would you uncraft it, though? Hmm. This is the most expensive particle generator. Like you need that. How was it? No spoilers. It was, it was good. Like no, with no spoilers, I can say that it was intense and confusing and like everything a movie should be to make you want to watch the next part. Like, it was in the machines and the, the flying machines and stuff and the spaceships were incredibly cool looking. Very minimal though. This movie, like other than the, the CGI parts there, there, it couldn't have been that, that expensive to make. Other than the people and the cast they had to pay. 
because most of it was shot in a desert and the machines were all CG. So, temp auto craft the cores. What do you mean? We need to finish up. So I'm gonna. We're gonna get the uh, dra not the dragon. We're gonna end up. We're gonna get the uh, the wither set up in a stasis chamber, and we're gonna get that hooked up. We have all the stuff to do it. We just have to hook it up, um, and we're gonna get that done when I come back from break. So I will be right back. Try not to kill me, guys. In the world, I will be. I will be right back. And uh, you guys enjoy the clips. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's some new ones today. So I'll be right back. We'll take a short break. Oh yeah, I'm down to get all the hats though. At least this is a bonus. At least I have a reason to kill them. Yeah, you all saw nothing. Like you don't tell anyone we did this. No one. Oh, I want the Nyan hat. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell anyone. If you see your own skin, then... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry. I mean, I think we've thoroughly tested this mod as far as optimization goes. <laughs> it's not even the skins that cause lag. Nothing causes... It's just the sheer amount of entities that cause lag. Yeah, tinkers. Okay, so we do need so we need clay. Okay. So this will be this will be how we do it. Clay and sand gravel. Okay. Let's get all of our dirt blocks. You watched on Twitch before YouTube? Well, I mean, I've been a technically, well, I've been on Twitch for a long time, but really YouTube was the main, <clears throat> the main thing that I had worked for. Fallen Soldier 331 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. I've got to fix this hole, and that's basically it. They just they just disappear the great scattering <laughs> it was an age it was an era be free you no longer in in you feed it items and it gives you it gives you souls for the items i didn't know that i thought you had to just kill the 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 thing that's how it used to be So yeah, you can literally just put, put raw beef in there and bam, you got a cow. Creeper heads, bam, you got jars. Blaze, bam, you got blaze. Play it actively over on our vanilla SP as well. So we have some cool stuff that's in the works over there that's happening all the time. So be sure to check that out. Uh, join the Discord if you are a sub or have been gifted a sub or any of that awesome stuff. Uh, check out the FAQ. It'll explain how to do everything. It's really, really simple, honestly, to be able to join the servers now. More than it used to be. It used to have to be manually whitelisted. Now, it's not that way anymore. So much better. Uh, as far as modded servers, right now we do have this on our sub... <laughs> you have to send me a uh, thing. That way I can see your... Send me an invite thing so that way I can see you on the map. The group. It's not even the skins that cause lag. Nothing causes, it's just the sheer amount of entities that cause lag. There we go. And we got a few more over here. 
I'll leave Chunky Dude here. I'll leave, I'll leave the rest of them. They survived. Flanks is down here. Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave all all of them. They're safe for now. They survived. We got to leave a couple. So much, guys, for hanging out with me today. Let's see who is streaming on this beautiful Friday outside. It's a beautiful day outside. After I'm done streaming, I'm going to go enjoy the weather. Um, let's see. Everybody that I know is playing New World. Yeah, I'm not going that route just yet. Not getting the power just yet. Yeah, I'd have to kind of sort out everything that goes in there. I'll eventually turn this off. Or oh, we haven't even unlocked that stuff. Getting started. Stop. Overused joke time. Hammers. Can be used to crush down blocks. Okay, finer and finer variants. In this pack, we have the following hammer progression. Cobble, gravel, dirt, sand, dust. Hint. Higher tier hammers can also crush one times, two times, and three. Item is... No, the trick for sponges is nice, yeah. Uh, you're playing on a server, so using a building wand, a built, what, using the, have some kind of either bubble column or something that takes us up there. Like, I'm kind of excited. Like, this world, I don't think, is 100% water. Pretty sure this, this, this particular world isn't full water. water. What wide level are we on? We're like low to the ground, right? Yeah, wide level 32. So yeah, we got plenty of stuff. This is the coolest one, but more challenging. Well, I'm I'm down for a challenge. Kaiko 585. Challenge. Just subscribe uh, with the tier one. Alrighty, I am back. Right. Welcome in. Hum All right, there we go. <laughs> There's our music. How's it going? <laughs> Followers on Twitch does a stream. Wait, what? Oh, you wish Etho would stream? Oh, you're talking about they have followers on Twitch and then don't stream. That's pretty, that's what a cool thing to have though. I mean, honestly, to brag about. Anyways, welcome in. All right, so we are back. <laughs> if you guys did join in while I was on break, I'm sorry. I do have to take a break every couple of hours, stretch my legs. We are going to jump back in. Um, so we got our Draconic stuff. We now have Creative Flight, which is pretty awesome. Now we need to drain the fluids from the Wither. Oh boy, that's going to be fun, right? Manny Ita started up the helicopter at at, 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 to give Chosen 100 biddies. He's alive. He's alive. I am alive. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. All right. I'm alive, but I'm hungry. I'm actually pretty hungry. But we only have like 40-something uh, minutes left in the stream. I want to see if we can get this done, though. Like, within the 40 minutes. Um, so, what we need is a stasis chamber from industrial... Industrial foregoing. It's going to allow us to make the Wither Builder, by the, by the way. This is why we need this. I don't want it so loose right there. I have to fix that. Um, so, I don't know if I made the stasis chamber. Man, I'm going to get the hiccups now, guys. Oh, goodness. Fluid laser base. Purple? Is it purple? Purple's the one we need. It could be in any biome, apparently. I think I calmed down the... 
Oh no, it's still there. I literally have no flowers. Um, we're gonna go underground here. All the seeds. Let me get it this way. You can make flower seeds. I can make dye seeds too. Just haven't. This works. Like, I'll set that as a goal, though. Like, we need to get die seeds eventually. Poppies! And then to red. Purple. Well, we have this stuff. I'm gonna just use that. Gray lens to purple lens. Perfect. So we have this set up here. <coughs> we just need a stasis. Stasis chamber. Point. Really need to get this stuff set to autocraft. That should be plenty for the points. Now we just gotta figure out where to put the wither and I don't remember how tall <laughs> this needs to go. The stasis chamber has a build radius of this tall, but the wither is three blocks tall. So we need to build, it needs to go three blocks above it, I believe. So like one, two, three. The wither will be here, and then the, on top of that will be the chamber, or will be the, the laser. I believe that's what I need. Okay. Let's go get this set up. Build a box around that. You should be good. Do, 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 do. This should work. I'm going to put it inside of a compact machine. Let me guess the quest is the quest set up differently. Let's see. Of course it is. Of course I already made these, but whatever. There should be plenty of space. So long as the wither doesn't kill us. Well, it, no, it won't even do the blast, will it? Okay, stasis chamber. Um, point. Make sure this is chunk loaded. 
see the area. We got plenty of space. Crap, I'm in the stasis chamber. Uh-uh. Don't you do me that way. Fluid laser base, laser drill, uh. Oh, come on. Just let me place it. These are all backwards anyways. Why does all the mod 6 have no chunk loading? I have no idea. Probably because they... Built it around server stuff. You can always go into your configs and set it up. It should have chunk loading. All the... All the ones six? It, it has chunk loading. Um, you can do it with, uh, the quest, or not the quest, the, this same way. You go up here, have to be chunks. You use this to climb. Okay, um, I'm losing my mind. I need a tank. Uh, what color is this stuff? What color would that be called? Like a light blue? That should work. Um, maybe do a tank for a buffer just to keep it running that way. At this point, might as well just make this one. Such a slow moving, moving fluid. I think that's tall enough. I don't think it goes down one more. Oh, by the way, Joe Brown, welcome back. All right. Um, I got creative flight. Push from the top. And 
And then all we gotta do is build the wither. Make it sure this is on. Uh, create a flight with Draconic works in the Kuro slot. Oh, it does, doesn't it? So we can put a chess piece on? No. This on for right now. Oh, yeah, look. Interesting. Soul sand. All right, we're about to drain the fluids from this wither. Here we go. Uh, we're chunk loaded. Like, everything should be good. in this room so we don't have to worry about anything I sadly can't interact with anything apparently oh these aren't on that'd probably help wouldn't it good thing I had that one on I should have left a gap so that way I could have at least seen it, see what was going on. Ah, we got some though. Ether gas, 20, 20 millibuckets. Yep, it's all working. It's all set up. No, I don't have the speed upgrades in it. No, I'm using it for Draconium. Speed upgrades. Which reminds me... I could probably... Upgrade this. Because all that requires is some diamonds. Farm some diamonds real quick. So yeah, all we have to do is farm some diamonds and we should be able to make that. We have enough blaze rods. Can't make more of them? Oh, I can make more of them. I, just, I don't have them on autocraft. Wonder if this wire sh well no we don't have a shield. I was about to say it sh looks like we have a shield, but we don't. Last I looked at it, it was ported and they barely ported anything. I mean they have everything I could use or want to use. We need like 128 or something like that. I mean, we've almost got everything that I wanted to get done today done, which I'm pretty happy about. Honestly. We got the creative flight. We got the uh ether gas building up so that way we can use it um 
I should be able to hopefully bump up to a tier 7. I believe. Because that just requires draconium. It doesn't require any thing higher than that and I should have enough draconium I just need the diamonds to make the uh the upgraded spheres let's go see let's see the auto craft up here I gotta get used to not having the jetpack because I'm so used to having that jetpack. All right, draconic. Ooh, the problem with shutting this off though, our battery. Um, I still have these, so I guess, I guess we would be fine. There's 28, there's a, a bit there, okay. We have 11K draconium. So, we need to auto craft this. I've got to have redstone blocks auto craftable. Yeah, I do. And then that. Okay, so I need. Thirty-two. Missing four diamonds. I thought the diamonds was gonna be the the big issue. Four more. Chosen, do you have the shields turned on? I don't have a shield upgrade yet. Use the time in the bottle. I forgot I even had it in my inventory. You just turned in episode 10 of Sky Factory, been playing in your own world, but uh, zoning out while doing it makes the process a lot longer. Yeah. Hey man, I, I have an issue when I play as well, like any mod pack when I'm like recording a YouTube video. The major issue that I have is I wait so long before like I place a block like or, or hit the record button. And usually it, it, it takes me hitting the record button to like get, actually get started. I will, I, I'm, I'm so bad at doing that. Like I want to plan everything out, but if I just hit the record button, things usually start flowing.
So there's 32. Now the blocks. I don't have these auto-crafted yet. You nice fans, I tend to just dig into the ground and expand. Hey, everybody plays their own way. It doesn't really matter how you play. Playing is what's fun. So long as it's fun for you. Whatever's satisfying for you. Um, we need blocks of this. I'm sure I'm gonna need more redstone too in there. Wait till I get the chains hanging down from here. That's gonna look pretty cool. Does it not need the middle one? There it goes. It didn't like being touching these things, I don't think. Here we go. We're getting there. I kind of want to play around with the part particle projectors in this room as well and fill this room with like cool particles that you can do. I usually have done that with uh, Draconic. Advanced stabilizers. Core invalid. Can I? Do I have to undo this? Just so long as we don't touch the main core. Should still have our power in it. Redstone. You're kidding. Uh, how much is needed?
Ooh, that block lag is weird. Surely there's not many left. Huh. Maybe tear down. I can't have it using up all my redstone. I didn't know it was that dry. That was like 2,000 plus redstone. Go to a tier six, maybe. Nice. There we go. The ball's getting a lot bigger in our base. Now what percentage are we? We're down to 1% filled. Yeah, this is the atomic disassembler. Now, can I make this chain hook? Yeah, okay, you can after. They're going to be hooked up differently, though. Yeah, now you have a bigger ball. I have so much draconium, but we're just lacking in the redstone department, apparently. Um, redstone. So if I use a red lens... Probably gather a bunch of redstone. Hook to it as it's spinning. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to use. Usually I'd like to have it up against a wall, but it won't let me. I can maybe wrap something. I left it a, a space over so we could build something maybe around it. We'll figure it out. Maybe put some kind of block there that looks like it's the source. Do the rest of the seeds, yeah, all the seeds work in the hydroponic beds, but that's that's not what I'm going for. Actually, oh, I just haven't crushed them. That's right. Trying to figure out where everything went. Let's see. A squeezer. No, this. Induction smelter. Okay. Well, that's doing that. add this to here does it say the time on these things like what is this it doesn't tell you the time oh it does five seconds 0.5 seconds growth rate 45 seconds 
Are these any better? One minute. It's normally one minute. It can't be the same. Be careful of the power requirements. I know that's what I was looking at. Like, like to make it. Yeah. But I was wondering like how much it actually uses to grow them. And I'm sure once you start rolling it like that, like, yeah, that's going to cost a lot of power because it's going to use as much power as it needs to, to do those processes. All right, let's go. I think that's been enough in the end city. Can bring it, bring this home. Always on top. Just wait. Dancy blocks down. I am. Oh, you shoved me inside the ball thing. Well. Wow. Just use an importer real quick. Uh, redstone. It looks like it's mining redstone, but it's going to mine other things too. Minimum Y five. Pretty good Y level where it's at. Y level depth ten. It's not bad. Y level eleven. <laughs> there we go. We should hopefully get a lot more redstone. What's the, how do we get the most out of this? Squeezer. Perfect. And we'll have this automatically go in here. Bam. And we're done. We got everything I wanted to get done today done. I'm happy. I'm happy for, for what this stream was. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you hanging out. We are going to find somebody to raid. Let's see who's live. And plus, Lego we broke Master the dragon. Oh, yeah, I need to, Just I need subscribe to show you. With Twitch Prime. Jebravon, I broke the dragon, by the way. Um, The dragon is constantly respawning. I, I broke the dragon. Um, it's infinitely respawning and we're instantly killing it and collecting its drops in the chest. Just watch up in the sky. It will respawn. I don't know if it'll fix it once the 
pat once we restart. <laughs> but if we keep an eye up for a minute, the dragon will respawn up there. I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but it, it happened. There it is. It just spawned. And then it's going to land on the platform and it's going to instantly die. No joke, absolutely crazy. I like that they let the Ender Dragon be killable by a mob crusher. <laughs> I don't know, but it is. It is killable by a mob crusher. It just barely taps it. It goes boink, completely kills it. It's like the Gaia Guardian can be killed by the... Can it? I've I've done it before. We did it in all the mods. Yeah, it can. Yeah. Nothing was blacklisted. As you can see, we spent a little bit of time doing this today. <laughs> Snicker said, huh, interesting. <laughs> huh, interesting. For raising that slowpoke, slowpoke streaming. But anyways, eventually it'll it'll land when it wants to, and it'll insta die and all of its drops will be collected here. But yeah, I wanted to show that. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give slow. I don't know how long he's going to be slow, uh, streaming because it is pretty late, honestly, for him. Like, it's like early in the morning, isn't it? All right, we'll raid. Let's give slow folks some love. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys have been absolutely a joy. Uh, it's definitely made my day. So thank you so much. I will, of course, see you guys in the next broadcast. Should be on Tuesday or Thursday. Uh, I'll let you guys know. I have some stuff that we may be planning, so we may not be streaming Tuesday we may not be streaming Thursday or Friday. I don't know, but I'll let you guys know in the Discord. So be sure to join that Discord um, so you guys can stay up to date. Also, I will let you know on Twitter most likely as well. There's the Discord link if you would like Hollow to join. Hollow Serpent 426. Hollow Just Serpent. subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you, dude. Thank you for that sub. I appreciate that. With that Prime Gaming sub. So yeah, we're going to go over there and head over to him. Let him know where you came from. Chosen's crew has chosen you. There's the raid message. I appreciate that. Um, and guys, I will see you in the next live stream. As always, thanks for watching. I want to...